I forgot I was. <laughs> there's a. Uh, right there, there's like a fire ant pile. Oh. Hello everyone, Oiso here from RVT. So if you remember last time, I saw a bunch of bees right there flying back and forth, back and forth. And I found out that that was called uh, uh, schooling, fly schooling. Meaning that uh, there was a bunch of baby bees that was they were born and they were just practicing flying in and out. And to me, it seems like maybe they were like kind of like orienting themselves, trying to you know kind of like how they when you put a new hive in there and then they just try start coming in and out. And that's that's why I was that I started thinking after I closed my other video and I was like, you know what? Maybe there's a bunch of you know baby bees trying to find where they're. Uh, in, entrance and uh, practicing flying and stuff so I looked it up on, online and, uh, and and that's why they were doing on this video we're gonna look into there and uh, see how they're doing on that frame it's been about maybe three weeks I was hoping I was check on the second week but it's just been raining every weekend and today is a weekend again and I don't want really want to check after work because you know sometimes when it's not raining I don't want to check after work because I get home. I get home, you know, kind of like later in the evening. You know, a lot of bees are just try, starting to get back into the hive, so that's why, it's, you know, I, I heard that it's recommended to check on it during the day, preferably, you know. Oh, I forgot I was. Oh, <laughs> there's a. Uh, right there, there's like a fire ant pile, and my daughter was standing here the other day, and she. She started getting <laughs> fire ants all over herself, her feet and stuff. So I was like, man, I hope I'm not standing there. <laughs> but anyways, back to this. Uh, today we're gonna go ahead and install more frames there, and see how they do on that on that frame, you know? Because uh, if you watched my last video, or not last video, because last video was about the storm traps. But if you remember, like two videos ago, there was like a, I put like the extra piece. That cut off from there over here on the bottom so today we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and check on it to see how they did on that and it's been three weeks so they should have it out pretty you know pretty good drawn up pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up and then get back uh, over here on the video all right now that we all set up oh man i have a lot of bees out here check it out Right there on that corner so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, install more frames here maybe that's why they need they maybe they need more space or, or they just I hope they're not overcrowding themselves Look in there. Bunch of bees in there. Looks like they're getting see so, uh I think that's nectar in there. And I haven't fed the bees so that's real nectar. Put it back down here.
Holy crap, there's a lot of larvae in there. I've been trying to find the queen. I haven't been able to find the queen in a while. I see some, a bunch of drones in there. This, uh, this is actually the first time that I've seen drones <laughs> in real life. It's pretty cool. Man, those drones, they sound so loud. One thing I haven't seen for sure is beetles, so that's good. We're getting closer to that, to the one.
Yeah, drones, they sound like, uh, they sound like flies, those big old flies. Queen here. Oh, I don't see her yet. Alright, so this is the frame. This is a frame that I installed three three weeks ago. See how, how they're doing on this frame. So they they drawing it pretty good. Um, looks like they bent. Looks like they connected it right here. And then this one is kind of bent out. I'm gonna put it back in. Maybe. <laughs> put it straight. See right there, that's a drone. Then there on my hand. <laughs> Remind me, Quinn. I see some. Uh, I see some larva in there. So she's laying larva in here. I see some brood on the bottom part. The bottom part right here. There's a brood already on the frame and there's a bunch of larva in there. I mean it's hard to tell because you know the bees are in there. Doing a, a good job on that frame. Well, there was a bee in here somewhere. I'm trying not to squeeze them. So I'm trying to slide it on the back portion of it so I don't kind of like mangle them <laughs> as I'm putting the frame back in. Man, these drones, they're so freaking loud. <laughs> it's so, so weird. <laughs> it feels like I'm, I have flies all over flying around me. I'm not used to that.
Looks like they're still building right here when they're hanging out like that. They're festooning. Man, I hope my camera's still recording it. All right, last frame. Oh shit, this one is stuck. It's got a lot of uh, Oh, hold on, I can concentrate right now. <laughs> Trying to pull this out. I, mean, I remember this frame it was it was just like a little piece that they built themselves on the top I remember this one if you, uh, if you remember this frame when I uh, removed it I'm gonna put it on the top right it just had like a little circle right here This is all comb built on built by themselves, and it's full of uh, wood. Yeah, I don't see the queen, so which is fine. And, and then now that there's drones, uh, it just makes it more difficult for me to find her. That's fine. Oh, she's probably she's probably in there on the side. I see a little cluster right there on the wall. So that's probably her. I don't know if you can see in there but um, there's like a little cluster in the wall see all those bees on the left side there's a cluster down there probably the queen is in the wall somewhere but, I mean the whole wall is just covered with bees But I'm going to go ahead and put the frame back over here. And then I'm going to smoke them. So I don't squeeze them between the frames. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that right now. I don't know. I'm going to put a frame in there. I don't know. I'm going to put a frame on the last one. On the first one, I mean. Put a frame right here. They don't like space, so. Get down, get down.
my one there. I'm going to close this one up. This one back over here. It just feels like I'm crushing them. <laughs> Come on, go in. Go in. Come on. No, 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 no. Man, the drone was going crazy. I'm gonna install the last two, the last two frames at the end. Now you should have plenty of space. Now they won't have to complain about. about space saying that I need some more room when it's like that. Just get down, get down, get down. No! They almost killed that. <laughs> I almost killed one of them. Come on, get down. Get down, get down, get down, get down. No, no, get down. Damn it. The frames that I have, they had a, they actually had Ants in them. I should have looked at it before I put it in there. One right there. Alright. I just blocked the whole camera, huh? <laughs> Trying to squeeze this. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna put a. Eventually, I'm gonna put a. Uh, 
cover here with a opening on the bottom that way they can go back in there you know what i'm just gonna do this one and lift it up a little bit That's gonna be a problem. Where are those bees going on there? Looks like they're sucking on something on the corner. I have some some wire that I was trying to proof with the rats in there that I glued to the entrance of it. And now those are a problem. Trying to uh, see these wires. So rats won't come in during the winter. So I'm just gonna remove them since they're just glued on there. See, it's just, I just put four of those, uh, four wires. And now this wasn't closing, so. Anyways, what I was saying earlier, because I, I was trying to concentrate, the last frame, the last frame has a, had a lot of prop, uh, propolis stuck to the to the wall, so I was having difficulty uh, trying to unglue it from there. And the propolis, you know, sometimes it gets so steep, sticky, especially when it starts getting warm outside. So it gets so sticky that. It's, uh, I mean, it's good for them, I guess, but. So now on the bottom, I lifted this up a little bit. Here, I'll show you. On this one, I lifted it up a little bit. So that way, right here, that way on the bottom, because I don't know what those bees are doing over there. They're just like on the corner right there and I, I i know the queen is not in there so but anyways back to this um lift it a little bit so they can go in and out from there um on these lanes hives i heard that uh if you leave it uh, have them open like that um if you never have problems of swarming because uh because uh is lifted up so they think that they have more space on this side so that's why they never swarm so I'm just gonna and there's some dead bees in there that they've been there for a little while <clears throat> I guess they're kicking them out from that side because over here there was like a crack they were just they were dying there probably they would just move them on this way and then they ended up all of them right there but I might go ahead and open up the entrance the metal entrance a little bit that way they can take the dead out or nah <laughs> I'm not gonna do that because then I uh yeah not yet not until they fill the other frames in because I'm scared that uh I'm afraid that uh that they might get robbed or something later on so I'm just gonna keep it until they build those frames out and uh and have enough bees in there so they can defend themselves so all right i'm gonna go ahead and close it out and then this pillow right here this pillow i'm gonna go ahead and finally take it took it out since uh uh spring was last week and I don't see any more uh, cold freezing temperatures anymore. And it's been like that for like a couple of weeks now or three weeks. We have cold temperatures, but not freezing temperatures. So I'm just gonna take it off, take the pillow out with the insulation in it. And, and then uh, 
Yeah, they're not gonna need it until next winter. So this one is the one that I had in there for a little while before I, I built the uh, the feeder there. I, I don't know, I might take the feeder out. Let me see. Oh shit, I'm lifting up. <laughs> Check this out. This one got stuck to the propolis. Right there. See how much propolis it put on there? Look at that. Over here too. So much propolis that it's getting too thick and hard to uh, seal. Like when I put them back in there. Alright, gotta take this piece off. I'm gonna take the feeder. Put this one in there. But not it all the way down so they can go underneath uh, should be I think I should be good right there have enough space for them to go in and out from this side to this side. The door still closes all the way, so should be good now. All right, so with that idea about the uh, cutting the uh, Langstroth uh, foundation to make it fit into the lens hive I think it's gonna it's too early to tell but I think it's gonna work out because uh, they already connected those two gaps and that way they can feel it all the way down um, so I think I'm gonna start doing that you know uh, this one the last three frames that I put on there those I didn't do it because I was just testing it out to see how they do it but now that I know that they're actually connected, connecting the uh, the top to the bottom, I think that's gonna work. The only thing that I'm concerned about is where it was on the top corner left of the bottom piece. It was kind of like bending down on both corners. Uh, maybe because of the, the heat that they're creating or I have no idea. Uh, maybe, I don't know what's going on, but they, uh, they, not they, but the wax kind of like kind of like melted, or I don't know if they did them themselves or what. But let's see how it's gonna turn out later on. Um, there's one of those jumping spiders in there, probably catching the the bees as they as they uh, go in and out. Get out! Get out of here! You'll be back. When I first got here, it was like right next to that, to the entrance. So I'm pretty sure that uh, it's been feeding on bees, the jumping spider. Probably have a nest somewhere in the bottom. But that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, I usually post videos sometimes on uh, Instagram uh, before YouTube. Um, you, if you follow me on Instagram, I would really appreciate that too. I'm trying to build more channels, but it's kind of difficult for me because you know I do have a full-time job and I don't really keep up with my social, my personal social media. So it's a lot. It's just difficult for me to keep up with social media in, you know, in the beginning anyway. So, but. Uh, well, if you follow me, I would really appreciate it again, and uh, and thank you for watching.